Damn. Hope y'all saw that. We got Adam from Amped Up Outdoors. And myself, Alex from Amped Up Outdoors. And today, I wanna mix it up a little bit and we are gonna chase some snakehead in a super shallow river. And we may throw a Ned Rigger too, why not, you know? So, stay tuned. We're gonna start out with a popping frog. The one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna trim this skirt back a little bit. Aside from that, we're gonna, we got our water shoes on. We're gonna go wade. We're gonna walk out here, throw some frogs, and see if we can get a snakehead and just stretch a river. So, here we are. Time to get wet. <laughs> this is our favorite water shoe spot. All right. Oh my God, it's so cold. <coughs> I forgot how this water coming out of this creek is every bit of 20 degrees colder than the water in the river. I mean, it is freezing. <laughs> we made it to the promised land, or what we think may be the promised land today. Holy moly, that's ideal. That is ideal. And then we got a rack of grass up here and I'm actually gonna start in the grass right now, so. So I have a feeling if it's gonna happen today, this is where it's gonna happen. So we're gonna start out and we are going to throw frogs on all this grass. complicated to get that frog to swim and pop true because you know fishing in this river the water's constantly blowing at you and that was a blow up that was a blow up I, I'm on I'm on I'm on he came up and grabbed it he came up and grabbed it we're on as I was just talking about Man, that was thrilling. All right, I just gotta get this fish through the grass here. Ain't a big one, but it is a snakehead. It is a snakehead. Number one of the day, wading up the river. There we are. That's what we came for today. A super solid snake. Shallow water, man. We're talking six inches of water this guy hit, so we're gonna get him back in the water. goes so what Adam's doing is he's gonna work that frog in the middle of this river in some areas you can get away with that in some areas you can't but in this particular stretch where we are we got grass that runs all the way up throughout this and although you can see a bunch of grass over there to the left that's <clears throat> grown up into the top of the water column a lot of this grass is low-lying grass you make enough noise this will still be able to pull fish out of there it's just a lot of area that you would you would pass right by you wouldn't even think to even fish it but that little bit of grass will hold fish up underneath of that and you won't even know it so there's wrong spots to throw the frog and there's right spots to throw the frog and where we are right now you pretty much can't make a bad cast because there is grass everywhere in here We're trying to find another spot that might hold some snakehead Alex found. He walked ahead, found a little spot. 
Looks like got some grass. Logs. Some logs. Some structure. So, we're gonna give it a go. Damn! Hope y'all saw that. Mm. I missed him, dude. Yeah, oh okay. yeah. That was a massive snakehead. Ah. <sighs> Didn't have him. He completely inhaled that frog. Dude, he's oh this frog's done, dude. Alright. Adam's way down there. We're gonna do some Ned rigging. See if we can come up with a small mouth or two. Oh, there's a bike. There we go. Smallmouth. Look, there's a bigger one behind it. You see him? There's a bigger one behind it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I hooked on the smallmouth. Dude, do you see that? Dude, there's a yeah, bigger one. Fun. I can't get this fish in, man. I love Ned rigging in these rivers, man. It's, it's especially for smallmouth. Because they are just an absolute blast to catch. And look at the colors on this baby, man. Look at the colors on this. That's the Z-Man Copper Truce. Always and forever, that Z-Man Copper Truce Ned rig. She's beautiful, man. Beautiful little colors on this girl. And she's gone. I think I just had a bite. Yep, I do. Got another one. Another little guy. He's real little. Oh, it's a rock bass. Okay. Well, it was a rock bass. It's a little red eye rock bass. He's going back and I can see him swimming. He's he's heading out. He's having a good time. I thought it was I thought it was a small mouth at first, but then he gave up and I was like uh what could that possibly be and it's the old red eye i don't catch too many of them man but they're always neat oh man it was a good day i enjoyed it it's a lot of walking through the water man it's adventurous it's thrilling but man does it does it pay off so we'll probably do this again um yeah, see if we can come up with some more of them, man. Some bigger ones. Yeah, some bigger ones. Definitely, definitely spotted a couple. So that's pretty sweet, man. It's always cool.